Hello, I am Jong Sik Kim, a postdoc student at Donghua University in Busan, South Korea. The topic of today's paper is a study on how to generate fire data from video image using the FCAS and ROI method. The order of presentation is the same as the table of contents. First, I will present about the data learning method. We know are uh, largely divided into the three types. First, supervised learning is the most common way to learn using label data that are already available. And the second is unsupervised learning. This uh, way of uh, combining and recognizing data without any collect answer label in a way. That is currently low in accuracy, but continues to be active. And finally, the semi-supervised learning method that I'm currently working on. This is a way to first create a learning model using a small amount of rabbit data with the correct answer, and then use the learning model to create the pseudo label data in a novel data. Now, let's talk about the need to augment fire data. In the case of fire or digestion, data collection is difficult, and the data collection requires a huge amount of money compared to other generation data to solve this problem. We generate data using alpha branding method and the gang method and uh, secure the video of the fire site with the help of the fire department. However, the reality is that label data is uh, still lacking. And the data obtained also required a lot of labeling. Work and reality is that it takes a lot of manpower, time, and money to do it. Therefore, this study proposes an augmentation fire data from video and image using the F focus and the ROI method, which complements the pseudo labeling among the existing semi supervised learning methods. Before introducing this paper, let's briefly look at the papers that have already been published. Pseudo label is attached to unlabeled data based on the predicted value of the model sufficiently learned by the supervised learning and it say how to relearn the model by combining labeled data and pseudo labeled data but it is a method that can be effective only when sufficient learning is achieved through supervised learning it's a very simple and effective way the mixed match is uh, received label data and unlabeled data to create the combined data and by applying the following set of methods, a lot of improvement was achieved. First, the entropy minimization method. K augmentation is uh, performed on the unlabeled data. The average of the prediction is obtained and the value is sharpened through temperature sharpening. Second mix method is mixing augmented labeled and unlabeled data. And then it performs mix up on the labeled data and unlabeled data for that day. Third label consistency. 
As with other model, supervised loss is C, and unsupervised loss is the difference between model of values. And finally, let's look at the fixed match method. Both strong argument and weak argument are applied. Fixed match creates a pseudo label using the weak argument image and uh, probability distribution predicted by the model or the strong argument image is very different from the correct value. It is a fixed match way of learning to reduce the difference. From now on, I will present as a proposal this paper. The biggest characteristic of my paper can be explained in three ways. Instead of learning all of the unnavel data at once, we gradually increase the amount of unnavel data while learning from 50% of the unnavel data. And uh, we rerun the additional cost label and label data using fine tuning method. Most of the fire very sharp and size, but have a similar ROI size until the fire expands. The size of the fire is determined by ROI on the video start screen. Compared with the IOU, predict the through of this range and uh, learning model. IO is uh, used the pseudo level data if more than 50%. In the attached video file, the sharp and the size of the file changed in various ways, but all have a similar ROI until the file expanded. And using this, we could significantly improve the misperception that comes from rapid labeling and inoculation in the pseudo label every time. In this page, expression for the calculating ROI and IOU are shown. That is the predicted boundary box area and uh, actually ROI area are compared. And if uh, the difference is less than 0 0.5, it is applied as the cost level. And for this reason, it is aimed to remove out of distribution unnaveled data, OOD. The fire figures below as an expression of the variety of fire sharp and size. In other words, the change in boundary box gas BG compared to ROI is expressed in the figures. Next is about F gas. Pine tuning is a method of transforming an architecture for a new purpose based on a previously learned model. And update learning from the already learned model weight. Simply, it is referred to the act of the fine tuning the parameter of the model to fit additional image data. This page introduced the experimental environment as showing the table. This text result show how the pseudo label data set augmentation was increases each step. First, the basic label data worked 5,565 image label data to create an initial training model. And in the first augmentation, we obtained 2,587 FCAST pseudo label data set using video image. In addition, 
we use data from Nabel data plus uh, FCAST total 8185 to rerun and create a new model with fine tuning. In second augmentation, pseudo Nabel data is obtained throughout FCAST for a new unnabel image and the data from Nabel plus FCAST. Total 10,930 is used to be run and create the, a new secondary model with fine tuning. Repeat over and over in this way. The final fiber augmentation utilized the data from label data plus F cost. Total amount is 35,633 to rerun and finally generate a new fibers order model with fine tuning. On this page, we will present the experimental result for basic label data 5,565 menu label data. 36,749 and pseudo-label data 35,636 First, in this case of loss as shown in the table When working with pseudo-label the loss was 1.4% MIO was also highest at 78.33% and the mean AP was also the highest at 83.29%. In other words, it recorded a much better performance than manual labeling by human. In conclusion, automatic augmentation of approximately 5.4 times with 35,633 pieces compared to 5,565 pieces of existing initialized data. The accuracy rate improved by about 70.36% from the initial 65.9% to 83.3%. Moreover, compared to handle labeling by humans, the results were improved from 2.3 to 1.4 for loss and 78.34 to 83.29 for mean AP at 50. However, in need of future researches, and uh, the future research direction would be uh, studying how ROI automatically find based on camera movement and uh, how ROI automatically flows higher or the higher spread. That's all for the presentation. Thank you.